Hey, what's up people? Today we're going shore fishing and I'm gonna be using the diamond back rig. The Basically we have a chatter weight with a hook. I added a hook on it and a dropper loop down to a larger jig head. And it's basically just like a tandem rig, which I always fish, so it should work. And uh, you know, if not, if this doesn't work, we'll just use a normal tandem rig or something else. I don't know, we'll find out, let's go. Sounds good. Ooh, it looks good. Not gonna lie. Alright, Mr. Diamondback Rig. Go catch me a fish. Oh, he's on. Is he on? Oh, shoot, I'm on. First cast with it, too. Heck yeah. Feels something, like something decent too. It's flounder. No. <laughs> it's a trout. Nice first fish, man. Heck yeah. Caught on the gulp. Uh oh. First cast of the day. Catch a fish. You know what that means. Jeez, that's a really nice trout. Holy cow. Ooh, he smells like a trout. Nice big are you buddy I don't even know I, don't, I can't measure it it's right to the medium medium popper a little bit worried because the water over here is pretty stagnant but there is an outgoing current over there but right here maybe that's where they're hanging I'm just see if we can actually catch one on the uh, on the rattling portion the chatter, chatter weight. Let's see how it looks. Pretty good, dude. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe put a longer lead on the bottom so they're farther apart. Sorry, Heron, I'm coming for your spot. <laughs> he did not like that. You right, bro? Yeah, you're gonna have to move, buddy. This is my spot now. You gonna steal my bike? Is that where you're going for, buddy? Just because I took your fishing spot? That's fair. Let's see how fast it falls. Pretty fast. That's good. Wow, this guy was close in. Hit the gulp. Wow, man, this guy is digging. He's trying. Not as big, but... Right about that 15 point. This water is so clear, dude. And we lost him. That's all right. Saying this water is so clear, I don't think this rig would work since it's pretty, uh, pretty unrealistic. Sometimes the fish just want to eat anything they see. The chatterweight actually rides above the, the jig head which is good so it doesn't get snagged up on the bottom hey not too much after those first two bites been kind of slow I think I got lucky on those two uh, but at least we proved that this can work I think I might have to get out of here because I'm getting pretty hungry I'm gonna go snag some chipotle or something hey man caught a couple fish so let's break this rig down baby I came up with this rig because I had a couple of these chatter weights and I tried using one at the top of a tandem rig uh, to connect it to my leader and I found that the fish were actually hitting the chatter weight so I wanted to add a hook onto the chatter weight and that's what this rig lets you do. Now realize I'm still testing this rig out so if you want a tried and true rig uh, go with the tandem rig. So what is this rig made for? It is made for dirtier water with more aggressive fish and also maybe uh, low light conditions. 
uh, with that chatter weight and uh, making those rattling sounds along with you know a gulp bait with a scent and the chatter bait also has that uh, shimmery pattern on it uh, which can help the fish find it. Similar to the tandem rig, this rig is made for uh, either muddy bottoms, sandy bottoms, or harder bottoms because if you have grass around you're going to end up catching a lot of that grass on your uh, two, two hooks especially if you try fishing it on the bottom. And on this diamondback rig, you can put whatever soft plastic you want on the jig head. I just really like gold baits. I just have a lot of confidence in them and I know they're gonna work. So that's why I go with those. So I'm gonna show you my retrieve right here. It is basically just three pops and then letting it sink uh, and then continue that retrieve. And that's gonna be a good retrieve for trout, uh, maybe some reds. Uh, but if you're going to want to fish for flounder, you're probably going to want to go with an even slower retrieve than that. But just to reiterate, this is not a proven rig yet. I kind of just made it up, but I think it could have a lot of uh, useful characteristics for uh, dirtier water and also low light conditions. Hey, if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe. And if you like this video, like the video. It makes sense, right? Thanks.